So if you're like me, you like keeping your car really clean, you take the time to clean the outside, the inside, not only the inside here, but the insides of here as well. And I make sure that I clean my car from the literal insides to the out for optimal beauty and performance. But there's some areas that are really hard to clean. I've learned some really cool tricks over the years to get those parts nice and clean on the inside. And one of the hardest and dirtiest parts of any car is the exhaust. This is under the car. It gets coated in dirt. Not to mention, look at all of the nasty stuff that gets built up inside of your exhaust. And how do you clean it, you ask? Pretty simple. This is how I do it. By using these four simple cleaning materials. So we have some orange degreaser, some all-purpose cleaner, another all-purpose cleaner, and gasoline, which is also an all-purpose cleaner. All of these are great for dissolving all the gunk and garbage inside of your exhaust, and specifically today, we're cleaning the mufflers. Because over time, these mufflers get all kinds of stuff built up in them, and it can really hurt performance of your car because all of that buildup inside closes in the exhaust and creates a restriction. We don't want that because we want maximum power and we want things to look good, even though if we can't see it. So this is how we get started. First thing I like to do is get the car nice and hot, get those mufflers really, really warm. And then once we do that, we can start adding our different chemicals here. This is just a nice all-purpose cleaner. Just go ahead and spray in and out, you know, just making sure I get everything nice and coated. This helps kind of knock off any loose dirt, right? And then comes the more aggressive cleaners. So we're gonna go ahead and take our degreaser here. And, uh, you know, we're just gonna go ahead and just, just splash it all in there. Get all that nice and filled, both of them, with some heavy duty degreaser. Same thing with their other all purpose cleaner. I like using this one here because it is so much better for the environment. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and splash that in there like that. Nice. You know, you always gotta make sure you look out for the environment. And then lastly, we have our gasoline. So this ain't nothing crazy. This is just your standard old, you know, low octane blend you put in your mowers or whatever. And you just wanna go ahead and just get that all in there like that. Get it all nice and in there. Look at that. Yeah, see that's gonna help. That's gonna really help dissolve all of that carbon. And then there's one final last step that we do before we can actually commence the cleaning process itself. And that's going ahead and filling up the mufflers with water. So you just want to go ahead and spray that straight in there. We're going to fill that all the way up until it starts running out like that. We know we're good. And we do our other one here. And good. So now that we've added water into the mufflers and the exhaust system, basically you just want to let it sit. I'm going to let this sit for just a little while here. All those nice chemicals work really fast, really powerful stuff. So once this stuff sits, then we go ahead and flush it out. So just wait a few minutes and we're ready to flush it out. So simply all we have to do now is go ahead and start the car and redline the crap out of it. And that will help blow all of that crap out of the exhaust and make them nice and clean on the inside. So let's go ahead and get started. can see this cleaned out really good it's got stuff all over the place I mean oh holy crap are you kidding me like it blew crap all over here on my garage door oh goodness there goes my deposit I never said it wasn't gonna be messy I just said it was gonna work so I've had great success with that as you very well could see I'm gonna show you one more tip for cleaning that I've learned over the years so right now it is pollen season look at all of this pollen right here that is a whole lot of bleh. Obviously, this makes keeping your car clean a challenge. But no fear, I've learned a way to keep things clean by simply using some syrup. So if you use some simple pancake syrup like we have here, 
tastes good. This is what I do here. So you take your pancake syrup, right? Let's go ahead and pour a nice layer over the paint like that, okay? You see what's happening, how it's creating this sheet right here? Well, this is a protective layer that it creates. And basically, when this dries in the sun, all the pollen's gonna stick to the syrup and not the paint itself. Therefore, it keeps everything nice and clean. And then there's the added benefit, it makes your car taste good. Pretty good, tastes like waffles. So there you have it. That's how I clean the mufflers in my car. Make sure you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. If you wanna see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep a lookout for next Cars Creative video.